Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Good evening and welcome to Messiah Lutheran Church Evening Devotions. Today is the 21st of May, Anno Domini 2020. And our devotion for tonight is the 59th Psalm. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil, and save me from bloodthirsty men. For behold, they lie in wait for my life. Fierce men stir up strife against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O Lord, for no fault of mine they run and make ready. Awake, come, meet me, and see. You, Lord God of hosts, are God of Israel. Rouse yourself to punish all the nations. Spare none of those who treacherously plot evil. Each evening they come back, howling like dogs and prowling about the city. There they are, bellowing with their mouths, with swords in, in their lips, for who they think will hear us. But you, O Lord, laugh at them. You hold all the nations in derision. O my strength, I will watch for you. For you, O God, are my fortress. My God, in his steadfast love, will meet me. God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. Kill them not, lest my people forget. Make them totter by your power and bring them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth, the word of their lips, let them be trapped in their pride, for the cursing and lies that they utter, consume them with wrath. Consume them till they are no more, that they may know that God rules over Jacob to the ends of the earth. Each evening they come back, howling like dogs and prowling about the city. They wander about for food and growl if they do not get their fill. But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you. For you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our prayer for this evening, help us, Lord our God, to profit by the dire punishment that came upon the Old Testament church, that we may strive to hate and forsake all manner of evil. Grant us daily to live in penitence, that we may escape the deserved punishment and inherit the blessing of Abraham, promised to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our reading is from Romans, the first chapter. Tonight is verses 16 and 17. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, first for the Jew, then for the Gentile. For in the gospel a righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. So ends the reading. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Can you say that? So many people in this world today are ashamed of being considered weak because they believe in the gospel, or they believe in turning the other cheek, or they believe in love through service rather than in through obedience. Salvation comes by the gospel. It comes by preaching the word of God first and foremost. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. St. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. In other words, he's not ashamed of Jesus Christ. Jesus, who is willing to show himself as weak, and yet he is omnipotent. 
Jesus, who is willing to go to the cross to die for us who are weak, is really a true sign of strength. It is the power of God to us who believe. The cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who believe it is the power of God. The gospel is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who believe it is the power of God. That gospel went out first to Jews, that was their Savior, and then to Gentiles. But it was always meant for all people. You might remember when God spoke to Isaiah, and he said, look upon the land. And he looked north, he looked south, he looked east and west, and he said, God said, that's not enough. The gospel goes to all people. Abraham was not Jewish when God said he'd make a great nation of him. He wasn't just talking about the Jewish people, but all people. Those who believe are children of God. God died once for all in the person of Jesus Christ for all people. One death for all people. Just as through one man we all fell, through Adam. Through one man and God, Jesus Christ. We were redeemed. He died for all people. It doesn't mean all people will be saved. There are those that will reject that gift. They will say, no, I've got my own way. First commandment, you shall have no other gods before me. Some people will say, I choose to be my own God. And they disobey that command. The Holy Spirit's job is to preach Jesus into your ears and into your life. But you can reject the Holy Spirit. That's called blasphemy of the Holy Spirit and His message of Jesus Christ. But it's through that message, through the Word of God, that faith is brought about, salvation is brought about, life is brought about, eternal life is brought about. And so Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. And then he goes on to say, the righteous shall live by faith. Faith produces good deeds. Good do deeds don't produce faith. Faith does. The righteous shall live by faith. That is the only way to be righteous, is to live by faith. Faith given to you in the waters of holy baptism, preached into your ears through God's Word, a gift from God, a gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's all you really need to know. It's all about what Christ did. And He died for you. He rose for you. He ascended for you. And He's coming back for you. For He loves you. And no greater love is there than this, that a man lays down his life for you. Jesus did just that. And then He took it up again, so that He might take you up too. And that's all for tonight. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you His peace. In Jesus' name, amen. And I pray you have a wonderful night and a blessed Ascension Day. By the way, just to let you know, uh, we are finally at a point where they're easing things up. We won't be able to meet this Sunday at church, but we will next Sunday on Pentecost. Uh, we are only allowed to have 25 people total there. So we will be asking people if they're going to be attending. You'll probably, probably be getting a call. Uh, there will be certain restrictions and guidelines that go along with that. More information to follow on that. But tonight, rest, be at peace, and know that Jesus is with you. For he said, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. God's blessings.